Hey GED students, it's GED question of the daytime and we've been asked to simplify each of the following. So perform the indicated operation. Well, you're not going to be able to perform the indicated operation if you don't know what these little bars here mean. So let's talk about this operation. It is known as absolute value. Mathematicians, the symbol we use for taking the absolute value of a number are these bars on either side of the number. And basically the mathematical definition for absolute value is a number's distance from zero on a number line. Now, it sounds like kind of a silly definition because people will say to me, well, isn't the number like if it's five, five is five away from zero, right? It doesn't do much. And I'm like, well, yeah, it won't do much for positive numbers. You're right. How far is five from zero on the number line? Well, it's just five away. Like if I were to draw a number line, here's zero, here's five. It's a distance of five between them. But let's think about it with negative five. How far is negative five from zero on a number line? You might want to tell me negative five, but that's not true. You never ever measure distance with negative numbers. Think about it. If I asked you like, how far did you walk to the store? You wouldn't say, Kate, I walked to negative 500 feet to the store. I don't care what direction you were walking, north, south, east, west. You still wouldn't tell me you walked to negative 500 feet. Um, you would just say, you know, I walked 500 feet. You'd give me a positive number. So same thing for this. The absolute value of negative five is also positive five. And so practically, what do absolute value bars do? Well, they, they basically just get rid of negatives. Okay, there are times in math when negatives are not appropriate. And so it's super important that we then have an operation that will make whatever number we get be positive. And that's what absolute value bars do. So let's take a look. First, it's asking me for the absolute value of eight. How far is eight from zero on a number line? Well, super simple, it's just eight away. That one was easy to think about, and so students might say to me, absolute value bars are stupid, Kate. We don't need them, they don't do jack. Well, not exactly. Let's take a look at B. This one says the absolute value of negative seven. How far is negative seven from zero on a number line? Well, once again, if zero is here and negative seven is over here, that, that is seven units away. Distance is always positive. Therefore, absolute value is always positive. I get this positive seven. Now, I need you to be really, really careful because sometimes students give absolute value bars more power than they should. They see a problem like this. They say, okay, look, I see absolute value bars. This must be positive 11. Well, let's come to the side. You are going to need to deal with the absolute value of 11. That's the part that's in the absolute value bars before you can deal with the negation, which is outside. Remember, according to the order of operations in math, we work inside to outside. So let's deal with that inner uh, most uh, expression first, just the absolute value of 11. So how far is 11 from zero on a number nine? Of course it's 11. And now this negative outside means whatever answer we get, we need to then negate it. So I drop my negative sign and I see that I do end up with a negative 11. So I guess my fair warning to you is if the negative is outside, it's not gonna get affected by the absolute value bars. Whoa, I dropped a word. If the negative <laughs> or the negation is outside, it's not gonna be affected by absolute value bars. Okay, so then let's look at this next one. The opposite of the absolute value of four. Again, we work inside to outside, so let's deal with that absolute value of negative four first. So, uh, where can I write it? I need space. Here we go opposite of the absolute value of negative four. So let's deal with this inside four first. The absolute value of negative four, how far is negative four from zero on the number line? Well, of course, it's just four units away. And now drop this negation that was outside of the absolute value bars, and I do end up with negative four. And once again, we see that principle that if the negative is outside of the absolute value bars, it is not affected. Now, E is very similar to something you might see on the GED. Yeah, it requires a little bit of knowledge, again, of the order of operations, but we can totally do this. So I'm looking for the absolute value of the difference between 3 and 5, or um, the absolute value of 3 minus 5. 
So again, we have this inside to outside principle in math. So you need to do deal with this arithmetic inside this subtraction before I can deal with the absolute value here. So let's do that. Three minus five, of course, is negative two. Notice I don't just turn it into three plus five. I do the math first and then I take the absolute value of my answer. So what is the absolute value of negative two? How far is negative two from zero on the number line? Of course, it's just positive two. And that is my final answer. All right, guys, if you have any questions about this or any other GED math topic, be sure to drop it in the comments and I'll do my best to answer it.